thousand or ten thousand years. Right. right. And they could be very bad. I think solar flares are the ones to really blame. Is honest. that what you you're concerned with? It's not my professional concern, but I was once sitting next to a hotshot lawyer who had just been finished uh, visiting Washington D.C. to campaign for we got to start hardening up the electrical grid because mm -hmm. one kind of solar flare that he says happens every thousand years could wipe out electricity in the United States or the world for weeks or months. Mm -hmm. Millions of people would die, right? We saw a few billion dollars and we can harden it and fix things, but who's going to spend a few billion dollars for something that happens once every thousand years? Isn't that the issue? It's like, like even with preventing asteroids or yeah. doing something to avoid collisions, it's right now we don't have an issue. So we go, ah, we have other things to worry about. We have a terrible president. We have uh, you know, global warming. We have this, we have that. There's always something that keeps us from being rational about the future. Yeah, that's right. And with the good news with asteroids is that there's other good reasons to look at the sky and map things, right? Yes. So the, what astronomers are doing are piggybacking asteroid uh, mapping strategies off of things they can actually get money for, right? Because, yeah, no one's going to not funny up that much money to look at the asteroid. Yeah, well, I would think that that would be like a really good use of money. Like, let's, let's keep an eye on the rocks that might kill everything. You would think that everyone would save for their retirement and so forth, right? But they, uh, this ability to plan for the future, not what we evolved for. Well, that's a big ability. I mean, that's a big plan for the future, though. I mean, literally, you're talking about, like, wasn't there one that just whizzed by that was three miles wide? Yeah, but whizzed by means it was something like eight times as far away as the moon. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, this is not. There's the chances of an asteroid, even though it'd be very bad, the chances of a bad one are, are much smaller than something like that. You don't comfort me. Right. <laughs> I'm not here for comfort, I'm here for the truth. It's like, take the comfort as you will. But isn't there like, there's a lot of areas that can come from like behind the sun where the, the gravity of the sun sort of distorts the, the, the view? Not really. So it's it's not place to hide. They got to orbit, right? They can't right. stay behind the sun. They, they, sorry, they can. There are, there's what's called the Grange Point. There's a place exactly opposite where the Earth is, where mm -hmm. you have to hang out if you were to be hidden from us for a long time. And you can hang out there, but you would never leave there. So there probably are some asteroids right opposite the Earth, just like most planets have. So they're sort of orbiting, is that what you're saying? Yeah, they're orbiting once a year, uh, 180 degrees away from the Earth, and that's what they will be doing. Is it possible that one can come up and hit us from the bottom and not looking? No way? <laughs> How's that not no, the danger is something from far outside uh, the distant solar system. Oh. That we just haven't, just too far away to get. And it right. wouldn't come from, like, and hit where the South Pole is? Very roughly speaking, we're looking at the whole sky. Mm -hmm. Not just, uh, you know, you can see below the South Pole if you're in Chile, for example, with right. lots and lots of telescopes. That's where they have that, what is the, the, the giant one they put in Chile recently that's not totally operational? Uh, yeah, there's, there's a whole generation of telescopes, I forget which one it is that's there, yeah, but one of them, is it the Giant Magellan Telescope, maybe? I don't know, I don't know which one it is. Yeah. I think they're just still working on it now. And it, it Chile is because it's, uh, is it because it's a high altitude and the environment is very... It's high, flat, and dry. 